So um, thanks for the um, opportunity to present this proposal to move our existing infrastructure to the to the cloud. In this uh, presentation, I'm going to go through the executive summary, the description of cloud computing, the basic cloud capabilities, advantages and disadvantages of cloud computing, analysis of the economic implication of us moving the existing infrastructure to the cloud, uh, the IT business requirements. Uh, I also go over the SWOT analysis, which is the strength, weakness, opportunities and threats. And then I'll present the conclusion. So the executive summary, <clears throat> currently the rapid growth uh, of our data center has led to our current uh, growth, has led to a maxed out of our data center, uh, which means we're looking at opportunities to build a new data center. And this will require a very high capital expenses and in order to eliminate the need for these capital expenses, uh, I'm recommending that we move our on-premises applications and databases to the cloud. Um, essentially, uh, when we migrate this to the cloud, it's going to eliminate our capital expenses and convert those to operating expenses. At this point, I want to go over the um, a quick uh, overview of the cloud. And this involves our ability to use uh, remote computers to do our computing, to replace our existing on-premises uh, IT computing infrastructure. And the cloud will give us the ability to pay per use instead of uh, investing upfront on hardware and software. Uh, we have the opportunity to leverage one of the three um, model, uh, which is the platform as a service, infrastructure as a service, and software as a service. Uh, the basic um, capabilities of cloud computing actually revolves around billing is based on usage. And we can scale resources up or down based on our need instead of what we currently do which is purchase hardware upfront uh, even though we don't use many some of this hardware 24 hours a day we still have to invest the capital expenses of acquiring them when we move to the cloud we will eliminate this kind of wastage the other part of uh, cloud computing I want to talk about is the fact that the cloud providers, they are able to pool resources and they all also provide a self-service product that allow us to go and provision the needed uh, servers without, without first buying them, without, without having to go through the usual uh, turnaround time that is always required in order to get a server up and running in, on our current uh, data center. Uh, the advantages of cloud computing, um, off-front cost is almost none. Um, some of the applications that we, we need to move, usually we may need to rewrite some of them. But in our case, all our applications, because they currently exist on VM, on virtual machines, we will need to rewrite um, them based on the analysis I've done. Um, moving forward, all our expenses will go from capital expenses to operating expenses. Uh, the one advantage of going to the cloud is our ability to respond very quickly to business opportunities. Um, in the current um, on-premises model that we're using, Every time we need to um, provision the server, we have to actually order the server. We have to uh, order the software. Then we have to give our infrastructure team a time frame to do the setup, the installation, the configuration, the patching. But once we move to the cloud, we could, we're going to eliminate this part of the, the delay that... Um, 
usually come with setting up a server on premises. In the cloud, it takes uh, 10, 15, 20 minutes to get our servers up and running. And in the cloud, we we'll have an opportunity to, uh, to have a higher a level of security. Even though we have existing uh, security team in-house, the cloud providers, uh, they've been around for some time and they've developed a higher level of expertise that we could have in-house. And what this means is that our systems, I believe, will be more secured if we move them to the cloud. So, so there are some disadvantages that I want to point out. Um, there are, if there's any network outage between our environment and the cloud provider, this will cause our systems, will make it impossible for us to assess our, our servers and applications and services. This hardly ever happens, um, but still it's a risk. And the issue of privacy is also a risk in the cloud. Uh, security, we say, is, a, is, a, is one of the disadvantages uh, because we really don't know how extensive the security processes that the cloud provider has in place. But if we are to go by history of what's happened so far, we can say that the cloud providers, uh, especially the very established ones, they've not had that many security issues in recent time. Plus, we will have an opportunity to work with them to identify all the necessary security um, processes, all the processes that they put in place to ensure that our platforms are very secured. So I'm going to go over the, um, the economic implication of this. Based on uh, the analysis we've done so far, uh, a total of 49% uh, cost saving each year. That means the for servers, for storage, network, IT labor, um, everything comes to about $2.2 million. And the savings on that is going to be about 49% a year if we move all this infrastructure to Amazon Cloud uh, Services. So based on the analysis that I've done so far, the, the implication is we're going to have just uh, monthly subscription expenses. And this analysis supports us fully moving all our cloud, our storage, our VMs to the cloud. So the key IT requirements on the on the functional aspect, um, we for the not for the we expect uh, scalability, performance, and availability. On the scalability aspect, we want to be able to uh, scale the uh, servers. So if we have a very high usage. We don't need to go uh, buy additional hardware. We can just, um, with some few steps of uh, points and click, uh, create new servers. And we have a business requirement that says the performance of uh, the response time for all the voting applications should be 1.2 uh, seconds response time. And the availability of the systems should be nine point. I mean, the expected availability of the system is 99.9% uh, uh, availability. And in my opinion, the cloud, moving all this infrastructure to the cloud will meet this requirement. The non-functional requirements um, requires that uh, we encrypt all voting application database on the cloud. Uh, that we order audit tracking for changes to our web application and to our data is all uh, enabled. And that we meet compliance requirements for voting uh, applications. So in terms of the SWOT analysis, um, I'm going to look at the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. The first one is uh, the develop developing uh, voting application is uh, our key strength. 
And the expertise in business rules for voting application is something we've accumulated over time. So these are our core strengths. Our weaknesses as a company is managing existing data center is not our strength. It's, it's actually a weakness for us. And even trying to build a new one at this point, it's uh, completely taking us uh, away from our core competence. The opportunities that we have at this point is we can leverage know-how of cloud providers. So we do what we know how to do best. We let the cloud, cloud providers deal with providing the infrastructure and the hardware. And the other opportunities is that we can um, we'll develop the capabilities to respond faster to new uh, business opportunities because we will be in an environment um, on the cloud that allow us to provision any network infrastructure or servers uh, very quickly without going through the usual turnaround time that was required on our current um, existing on-premises uh, infrastructure. The threat we have so far is the usual attack by hackers and possible network disruptions. So uh, my conclusion is um, migrating to the cloud will enable us to focus on our key strength. Migrating to the cloud, we eliminate the need to expand to a new data center, thereby preventing us from spending those huge capital expenses up front. Uh, migrating to cloud reduces our current IT cost by 49% per year, and the total savings over a three-year period is $1.1 million dollars. Uh, migrating to cloud will allow us to respond to new um, opportunities.